For Easter 1983, the All Wheel Drive Club held their traditional annual meeting at Bovington near Woolling Dorset. Always a popular venue, we join the action as three cars pass their sunny location out on Chamberlain's Heath. Running well until John Birdie, with the help of Tim Shearing, executed a magical disappearing trick with the help of the Strakitz fitted one. The following crew had no idea where the Strakit had gone. Oh, 
Plenty of help soon arrived, but the car was too heavy to manhandle and too deep to tow from the steep sided gully. Nick Johns had his own problems when his gear stick broke off. Team Max did then arrive to see what was going on. To the rescue came John Cornell, who had the vehicle and equipment needed for the recovery. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey? Right, right. you get a bloody lot of money if you want to buy that original, I tell you. I do want to get a maximum, come on lads. Maximum? The way your trousers are told you, mate, I think you've got a maximum. Yeah, that'd do, wouldn't it? Like that, look. Yeah, I guarantee you. Here, wait. That'll do, won't it? Try that. Try that. Well, there, I'll try you on. <laughs> what was that? Yes. Get a chain on John as well. John's driver. He's only just in there. <laughs> <laughs> For a look at the prize winners. 
First, Pat Willis, second Alvin Smith, and third Ron Lamb. In Class A, first Tony Powell and Alan Blakey, second Alain Galland, third Alistair Bedell. And in Class B, first Mike Wolfe, second Andy Talbot, and third Andy Sargent. For Class C, Phil Bond and Joe Darby were first, second Mike Scott and Steve Ballard, and third Francois Guimau and Lynn Soffley. For Class D, first John Burley, second Pete Talbot, and third, JNL Novice. 